Hello YouTube, it's Proven Arts, and I see that many people are enjoying the awesome Affinity Designer 2. Now, I have Affinity Designer 2 for iPad, and I see that there are many tutorial videos on YouTube on the Shape Builder tool, but not too many tutorials on how line segments can come in handy with the Shape Builder tool. So I decided to make a video on that and so we could do some cartoon drawing using line segments. So let's take a look. Shapes are not the only thing that can be subtracted, but open line segments as well. Open line segments can be subtracted as long as they are not within a closed region. But once they are within a closed region, it is the shape that is deleted instead. To delete the segments instead, have add selected and then turn on this last option of deleting open curves within selected regions and there we go what this last option did is that it automatically deleted open open line segments when adding a closed shape otherwise if i turn this option off and add the shape. Oh, hold it, I gotta select all these objects. Now, now I'm gonna move this order to the back. Then I could just delete lines this way. I'm gonna leave that. And the reason is because as have, doing it this way gives you more control over what segments you want to delete versus what segments you want to keep. Let's draw a square without using the sculpt mode. Now when drawing four lines, you'll see that at the four ends of the lines are very close together, but they're not exactly touching for the shape builder to work. You'll find this happens a lot when you do your drawings. So what, what I'm gonna do instead is when I draw my square, I am gonna intersect the lines. Now when I play the, apply the shape builder tool, it made a shape, it made a shape out of this. And then I can just delete these extra lines. Now applying these same rules, let's draw a cartoon character. So I have a sketch here. And what I'm gonna do is open the comic, open the layers panel and under the this comic panel, I'm gonna make another layer above this one. And I'm gonna trace over the sketch. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is his glasses. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna intersect the lines. Okay, now I'm gonna select all those lines, take the Shape Builder tool, and now I'm gonna select this last option, which will delete any open intersections. Apply the Shape Builder tool. 
and you see I just created a shape. Now before I make more shapes I'm gonna just draw these lines well okay now watch how I'm gonna draw the mouth here again intersect the lines Select, apply the shape of the tool. Boom, boom. And now just delete these extra lines. Delete, 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 delete. Now I'm gonna draw the bottom half of his head. Now I'm going to select, with that selected, I'm also going to select his glasses. Add. Now I'm going to just take his face and change the order, send it back. That way we can see his nose. And now just delete these two lines. Now I'll make his ears. Now the reason I intersect the lines is because here the stroke is touching, but it doesn't necessarily mean the line is touching. So I intersect on purpose. So when I apply the Shape Builder tool, it doesn't get too sensitive. Zoom in a little to select these paths. Delete. And then just move to the back again. Delete. 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 Now these lines, it's okay if they're not touching. I just want the stroke to touch. And you'll see I'm drawing right over this speech bubble. I'm doing that on purpose. When it's all colored in, we won't be seeing the that part of the speech bubble. Okay, now I'm gonna do his body. Oh, that's right, I gotta select his head. Oh, what happened here? Oh, I have this last option selected. I want to turn that off. Okay. Now I'll send it back. Delete. 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 Now I'm going to add that star on him. Now just do his arms. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you have control over which segment you want to delete. 
So there are two segments here. In this case, I'm going to delete this one and keep this one. But see, I want to delete this one, and they're both part of the same segment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Node tool, highlight that part of the segment, and then delete. I'll do the same over here. Okay, now let's add color. I'll select his hair first. And I'm gonna go to a previous panel. I'm gonna just drop each color. I just use the eyedropper tool Now I'm going to select multiple paths. Because these are all different. Okay, now the last step is the shading. Now, in previous videos, before Affinity version 2, what I would do is that I would clip um, objects, I, I would clip objects into objects for shading. So I'll show you what I used to do. So let's start off with the hair. I'll click the hair, take the pen tool, now go into this menu, press insert inside. Then lower the opacity. And I like to go to 25. But now that we have the shape builder tool, there's an even easier way to do this. Now you could do it with some drawings and it may it might be harder with other drawings because of the poses, but in this example we could do it easily. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do instead. Taking the pen tool. And when I make my shading, I like to have everything on the left side of the person. Well, actually, our left, their right. So let's start off with that, apply a black. And now I'll do another black over here. And let's see. A little over here too.
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, take the Shape Builder tool, and subtract, and subtract this. Now I can take all of these blacks, whoop, and lower the opacity. And there we go, we have our drawing of Tony. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it gave you some insight on how you can, how line segments can really improve your workflow when making cartoon drawings. Let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Also, I made another video the other day on what you would like for prevalent arts products. If this video you saw was helpful, then please leave your feedback. I would love to hear your feedback. And I'll send you a link in the description to the video.